More information is coming in about the chain of events that ended in that deadly gunfire. We expect to learn the name of the man who was killed at any moment. At a press conference late this afternoon, Chief Ray Schultz released the names of the officers who fired their weapons. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live in the newsplex with the very latest. Jessica, according to the chief, the suspect who was killed had a loaded weapon and his finger on the trigger. Everything began when a woman the man was with showed up at a local music store trying to sell back some musical instruments. I had kind of approached her and told her that the property was stolen and the police were on their way and I, I had I'd taken her cell phone and just kind of asked her to hang out and be cooperative. Music store manager Dave Tavet says he's surprised at what happened next. The woman was detained, but two men the woman was with took off. One in a pickup truck, the other on foot. Police say he was armed and putting people in danger for hours yesterday evening in the area of Louisiana and Manal. Police searched for the suspect for an hour and a half. They spotted him hiding in a bush at one point, and when they approached him, police say he ran again, trying to make it into a lockdown business. He uh, did not stop and actually tried making a flying, leaping kick uh, through a plate glass window in an attempt to enter a business, uh, which would be the, the rear of the Chili's. When he couldn't get in, police say he was facing officers with a loaded gun, and that's when three officers shot him. Chief Schultz identified those officers as Officer Sedler, a 16-year veteran, Officer Aragon, a 12-year veteran, and Officer Perdue, an 18-year veteran. The chief says they are not releasing the full names of the officers for their own protection, and that's because police believe the man killed may have strong ties to a criminal prison gang of a white supremacy-type nature. Back to you. Okay, Gabrielle, we're still waiting on the names of the suspect who was shot and killed, the man who is still on the loose, and the name of the woman who was arrested. Much more on this story tonight at 10.